right, let's do it. John, do you have any bank accounts in China like Cheeto, Trump, <laughs> Clark? Good New Year's Eve to you, my friend. Not that I know of, but, the you know. The still early? They still early. Somebody might have gotten my social security number on the dark web and opened one over there. So I don't know. I don't know. Probably not, though. Probably not. So if you've been living under a rock over the holiday weekend, and why wouldn't you be? It's a holiday weekend and only, you know, stands for the news like John and I <laughs> are going to bring you the latest on Donald Trump and uh, his tax returns. And let me just say this. When he was running in 2016 and he refused to release his tax returns, I went, mm, that's kind of weird to me. Well, now we yeah. know why. Because Trump gets the big L for money. <laughs> Hat tip to our British friends at the Daily Mail, because they have this article that wasn't 19 pages long trying... I don't know. I just got to say, some of these news articles, I feel like the writers get paid by word. Because um, it's just like, like, ro just scrolling, you know, just scrolling. But anyways, I digress, because that's not what yeah. you come here for. Daily Mail, six years of Donald Trump's tax returns were released by a Democratic-led Democratic House committee on Friday after the former president and real estate mogul battled to keep them secrets for years. Thousands of pages of documents. Now we know what John Clark will be doing on New Year's Day, reading the thousands and thousands of documents. Totally. Him and quite possibly the hottest first lady in recent time. I mean, better than <laughs> Barbara Bush, you know, or Hillary, but Cheeto and Melania reported that they had a negative income of 50, negative income of $53.2 million from 2015 to 2020. Negative income, $53.2 million. Hey, just living off that presidential salary, man, wasn't doing him any favors, you know. Trump paid a grand whopping total of $1.7 million in taxes over the uh, six years. I would have assumed it was zero. Including just $750 in both 2016 <laughs> and 2017. But hey, buddy, we're going to make America great again. Yeah, yeah, by by not paying any taxes. You know what, though? I, I do have to give Trump credit here because I know what he's going to say. He's already said it before. He has said, I just take advantage of the same loopholes that every other politician you elect take advantage of. And, and he's right about that. Well, I agree with him there. Well... You're 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 kind of skipping ahead here, John Clark. Oh, I I know, I know, I know. Here, uh, the returns show that Trump has financial accounts mm. in the United Kingdom and Ireland. Okay, Saint Martin. Yeah, it's a little bit sketchier, and China. <laughs> no way. No way. China. Just just wait until they hear about the one from Moscow. Listen, listen. <laughs> Remember how he was so tough on China? They're holding China. all they're holding all of his money. <laughs> so the House Ways and Means Committee dropped the returns Friday morning with just four days left of the Democratic majority. Hey, by the way, Republicans still don't have a speaker of the House. So tune in Not on shocking. They can't tune agree in, on anything. Tune in on Tuesday when, you know, we're going to give it to John Clark on the 37th vote. Anyways, the returns account for the years of 2015 through 2020, two years in which Trump was running for president, and then four while he was the president. Goes on 6,000 pages, more than 2,700 Jeez. personal returns from the ex-president and his wife. And then more than 3,000 pages uh, from Trump's business. Now, here's what I want to get to. Trump says the Democrats should have never done it. The Supreme Court. How many judges did he put on the Supreme Court? Anyways. Uh, enough to make it a, a conservative majority. Right. He says the Supreme Court should have never approved it. 
And it's going to lead to horrible things for so many people, Trump said in a statement on Friday night. He continued, the radical left Democrats have weaponized everything. But remember, that is a dangerous two-way street. So listen, any of you politicians who got bank accounts in China, if Trump gets reelected, he's going to leak it on True Social and nobody will see it. <laughs> in both 2015 and 2016, Trump reported an adjusted gross income of around negative $32 million. Oh, jeez. And in 2016, it was around uh, $13 million. But he was back in the black in 2018. Yay! <laughs> Way to go, Cheeto. With an adjusted gross income of $24 million. Then in 2019, it was $4.4 million. And in 2020, his last year in the White House, he was in the red again, reporting a $4.8 million adjusted negative gross income. He paid some taxes in five of the six years, five of the six years. So he paid zero federal income tax in 2020, the return show. So John Clark, shouldn't I be more upset about this? Um, should I be, should, am, am I, am I, am I overreacting here with how much I call BS on this whole thing? I mean, Listen, like like I said a little bit earlier, maybe jump the gun a little bit. Um, he's taking a... advantage of so many loopholes in in the tax code right now. Um, I mean, th listen, the point of taxes, and I, I think you would agree with this too, right? When I'm filing my taxes, I'm trying to pay as little as possible Not in me. taxes. IRS, listen, <laughs> I don't deduct anything. My tax returns are on the up and up always. Okay. All right. Unlike you definitely John, won't get audited. Um, unlike John. But I just, just, I just think like the point of it is to, and, and I, I don't think, here's what I, here's what I don't think. Do I think Trump should pay more in taxes? Absolutely, I do. But do I think anything nefarious is going on? Probably not. I mean, he probably pays. That's probably the one honest thing about him is how much he pays in taxes. I'm betting you he pays accountants a, a lot of money to make sure that he doesn't overpay in taxes every single year. And I'm not surprised to see this. To me, all this points to is that we need to overhaul the tax code. We need to overhaul the tax code. Because there are tons of businesses, tons of super rich people out there that pay little to nothing in taxes every single year. That's fine, uh, they're, but they're just they're taking advantage of the tax code. And in my mind, that's that's what's broken. It's not the fact that Trump didn't pay anything over the last six years. But here's the thing: how? Okay, one, he calls himself a billionaire. Mm -hmm. uh, doesn't look like it. Let's just let's just let's just <laughs> call that. Um, when you're losing, when you're reporting negative $32 million, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay, this guy has the biggest bunch of morons around him and always has, <laughs> you mean all of a sudden now he's got some wizard who's saving him money in the taxes or this guy doesn't make as much money as he claims. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's probably, I mean, that part is probably true. I mean, he calls himself a billionaire because he has to at this point. That is part of the Trump brand is that he's a billionaire. And he kind of sits on that as well when he panders to his audience, oddly enough. So, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't get it. I mean, I don't think he's definitely, I think he's definitely not a billionaire. I think even if he is, I don't see how that helps him, but somehow it does. So, Anyway, yeah, I don't know. I think he's probably lying about that, too. Now, and here's my other thing, because you're taking up the Trump line about how he's just using the tax code for his benefit and everything. So if that's the case, why was he trying to keep it a secret from everybody for seven years? Well, because I think on the surface, it probably makes him look bad, right, to his constituents, because this is a guy that has always said that he, you know, plays by the rules. He's Mr. MAGA and everything like that. And somebody who pays little to no taxes whatsoever out of his billions, hard air quotes, billions of dollars. 
doesn't look good. It doesn't look good on the surface because I guarantee you that most of his constituents are paying more percentage wise in taxes than he is. The latest uh, returns added new detail to the picture, including the disclosure that in 2020, Trump appears to have broken his pledge to donate his $400,000 a year annual presidential salary to charity. He was quoted in 2016 saying, I'm totally giving up my salary if I become president. Um, so, oh, wait, Trump lied again about something. Hmm. Okay. Shocking. All right. <laughs> um. You know, we have inheritance money here. We have, I mean, like he's really, everybody always says he was such a savvy business person. And like I've said before on the show and everything, like I heard back in 2012, 2011, like most of the money he was making at that time in the industry, like we were here in the industry was from the apprentice. It wasn't from anything else because the yeah. guy loves to file bankrupt. Like that's his yeah. thing. He gets wives and he gets bankrupts. Like that's what he does best. Um, but you know, you do got to remember that you know the Manhattan District Attorney's Office subpoenaed his tax returns because they're looking into stuff because they think that there was some overestimating with taxes when it came to his property. And let's not forget, he's still running for president. Okay, like yeah. everything yeah. else that's going on, we have forgotten that he is still running. For president, he did announce, I mean, he basically has flirted the fact that if he doesn't get the Republican nominee, he's going to run third party. Yeah, yeah, that's fun. He's going to try to split the Republican Party down the middle, but he definitely cares about conservatism and all you morons that are going to vote for him are going to basically go against your your morals anyway, right? The uh, the cheers here. I'm holding up my body armor, tropical punch. The cheers to four more years of Joe Biden, thanks to Donald Trump. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, hundred percent. So that's what's going on in Trump uh, world. Democrats are saying, you know, this proves fraud. Republicans are saying it proves that the tax code is wrong and that we need to fix it. I'm basically sitting here and saying. Look, if he's this smart and there's nothing to see here, why did you not release it for seven years? Why? Yeah. That's all. Well, like I said, I, I think I think it has more I think it has more to do. I think you hit the nail on the head when I think, you know, his tax returns prove he's not a billionaire. Because I think I think we can unequivocally say now looking at his tax returns, he's not a billionaire, right? And then I think the other piece of it is he didn't want to risk looking bad to his constituents, you know. Noah Bookbinder. That's his name. Noah Bookbinder. Of course he's, it is. <laughs> he's, he's the president of the watchdog group Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington. Okay. If I said, tell me the name of the person who's the president of the watchdog group Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, would there be any better of a name than Noah Bookbinder? I don't think so. That he would says, that would be in my top three guesses for sure. He says the prospect of Donald Trump earning money from foreign interests, potentially including foreign governments in ways that could influence his decision making as president was one of the reasons why it's so problematic and dangerous for him to retain ownership of a large international business while serving. Which that was a big thing, remember? Um, I do. They didn't want they didn't want him to be running his businesses. Wasn't he supposed to be turning all that over to his kids while he was Hard, in office? Here to quote John Clark, hard air quotes. Yes, he was. <laughs> so and ha Yahoo News wants everybody to know the returns do not disclose any obviously nefarious sources of income, contrary to speculations over the years by some of Trump's opponents. Trump received a large amount of income for years from his reality television show, The Apprentice, and from other efforts to license his name like Trump University, where I got a master's degree in doing this. <laughs> Trump U, worked for me, can work for you. <laughs> so anyways, I don't know. I don't even know how to conclude this. Like, this is kind of a loser of a story, but everybody's talking about it. So yeah. we are simps for the views and the listens. So of course, <laughs> we're going to talk about a story that I mean, literally, like five minutes before we start recording, we're kind of like, all right, let's do this because yeah. I am so sick and tired of talking about this guy. 
so sick and tired of talking about Trump. Uh, I would rather talk about I don't know, my favorite New York Post writer, because we are where here's here's my shout out for the day. New York Post. I'm a leech on their butt when it comes to stories for this show. <laughs> I'll give you one. I'd rather talk about Kanye. I'm, I'm so sick of talking about, about this guy at this point. And I, I just I wish that he would fade from the news cycle. He never will because he gets clicks, good or bad articles. Fox News talks about him in a good way. He gets clicks on the conservative side because of that. Everybody else talks about him poorly. He gets clicks because of that because everybody else hates him. He's a polarizing guy. And for as long as he's alive and for as long as he has the capability of being a politician, he's going to be in the news cycle and you and me are going to have to talk about him. And we're probably going to end up in front of a military tribunal if he gets elected. Right. Come at me, MAGA. <laughs> I'll go to Poland. <laughs> Dumb, you know. Anyways, rants.com. We don't really have a whole lot there, but you can send us emails and you can talk about John's beanie tonight. Yeah. Go, go woo pig suey. So rants.com. Rants if you're listening on audio, look for us on YouTube. So you can see my Karen haircut tonight that apparently I have <laughs> and John's beanie. And because it's new year's Eve and this, this hair is pretty gross today. Anyways, because it is New Year's Eve, we have a second episode for you today, and then nothing on New Year's Day because we are good Christians who will be sleeping in on Sunday. Well, I will. John Clark won't be. He'll be at church because his church, they, they're they open on New Year's Day. Yeah, we don't close down for anything. Rants.com, your hub for all things John and Matt, the Rants.com. <laughs> Go there today.